Okay guys, on this beautiful fall day, what we're gonna work on uh, is uh, we're gonna have my younger son, George, act as a bird boy, and uh, we're gonna work on a little bit of marking with these dogs. And so, you see in a video before, I was working on having the dog maintain the proper body position in relation to mine, so that he would kind of get over here in his heel position. And if I went a little bit this way or this way, uh, you know, that dog would move with me. That way I'm not, uh, I I'm not worried about him getting in front of me. I'm not worried about him wandering off and looking off this way. And So when I'm teaching that, I'm showing you guys some drills, some fun drills that you can do in your backyard. And like a lot of, a lot of people that don't, that aren't intimately familiar with food work, uh, you know, they just don't understand how easy it is to fade away from the treats. The treats are just kind of acting as an intermediate step between a dog that doesn't know what to do and a dog that does the things that you would like him to do because he realizes that he's going to get more more chances to fetch, more chances to be interactive with you, more chances to be out in the world being physical, you know? Okay, so don't get to worrying about if you're doing treat work with your dog that they're always going to stare at your face or whatever. You know, in that video that I'm talking about right now, a couple videos back, some guys, they're com commenting on, you know, when I put my shotgun up, the dog's looking at me instead of looking out there to where the birds would be falling. Okay, but you got to realize those dogs are in my backyard. They know what we're doing. Okay, so we've came out a little bit farther today. Now, in, in that other drill, what I was doing is I was initially using food work to get the dog to, to understand to stay in the heel position, regardless of where the, my body where my body went. In other words, to maintain that posture relative to my position. Okay, and then after I got that with the food work, then I started to introduce going after some bumpers so that well, I started to tie those things together. Use the food work to teach the basis of the behavior up close, right? Then I introduced the dummy so the dog understands running and getting a dummy is going to come after, you know, getting into that proper position. Okay, and so now we're going to take it just a little bit step farther and I'm going to shoot my shotgun some and I've got my boys hidden out here, right? And so when I swing my shotgun barrel around, they're going to throw a dummy. Okay, looks like a bird and uh, I'm going to shoot it with shotgun. And so now the dog starts to put it all together. So at first he was like, oh Stoney, I'll sit over here and look at you for this treat. And then he said, wait a minute, well, I'll sit over here and stay where I'm supposed to be so you'll let me go fetch that dummy that you put out in the yard. Now he starts to go, wait a minute, you mean if I sit here in this right position and I pay attention to what's going on with your body, which I can do with my peripheral vision, right? Then I just keep my eyes out here because I know a bird's going to appear. And then you being the dead eye shot that you are, you're going to shoot it and it's going to fall down. I'm going to get to go fetch it. Well, okay, well, I don't need those treats anymore. I don't need to be shocked. I don't need to be jerked on. I understand. Why didn't you just tell me that in the first place? Just get over here in the heel position, stay out of the way, move and kind of look out there. And next thing you know, a bird will appear and fall down and I can go fetch it. All right, so that's what we're working on today. Okay, Henry. Heel. Good boy. Okay, now you'll notice that now that we're out here in the field, right? You see where this dog, he's thinking in terms of looking out, right? I'm telling you guys, you work from the general to the specific in your dog training. You can't always break out your four-wheeler and break out your shotgun and go, you know, have uh, some help to throw dummies for you and stuff. That's just not going to always happen. So you work on what you can work on in your backyard. And then when you get a chance to get out and to get out in the country a little bit and actually uh, uh, do a little real field practice, well then go ahead. It's great. But there's lots of little things you can do just around your house that goes a long way towards giving, your, uh, giving you a dog that understands this proper positioning, okay? And he understands the situational difference between being in your backyard and you've got your, your, you know, your BB gun or unloaded shotgun and a broomstick, whatever you're using, you know, and when you're out in the field. Okay, so here we are. And uh, so I'm gonna signal to my bird boy that I want a bird thrown and uh, then I'm going to send this dog after it. Here. Come on, Henry. Good boy. Heel. Stay.
Henry. What a fine animal. Good boy. Heel. Stay. Good. Henry. Good boy. Heel. Come on. Good. Stay. Good boy. Stay. Henry. Sit. Good. Good boy. Fine animal. Foot. Heel. Stay. Floyd. Back. Okay, so I heal. Good boy. Out.